In this video, I'm going to show you real quick how to fix the blur in your webcam or the tear. You see the line that's there, like going in between the eyes. So the picture quality right now is going to look not so well. And it's because I'm showing you how to fix the blur in your webcam or camera, what have you, in OBS settings so that you can make better content for those of you that plan on doing so. Let's get to it. You want to get rid of this slow motion situation and all that bad look. You don't need to be like you in a movie. So you're going to go right here and you're going to press on your video capture device. I'm figuring that you already had put that into OBS or whatever software you're using. You double tap, pop, pop, pops up. See where it says HD Pro Webcam, which I have the C920. Is at an affordable price. In fact, I'll put the link in the description for the C920. It's an awesome cam if you want to upgrade your camera. Although the C920 is not needed, there's alternatives for $10, $20. And I'll put those in the link in the description also that I have, that I use also as secondary. Sometimes there's one that costs $10 that I use every day. So this is the C920, this is the blur. We're about to get rid of that and fix that. You wanna go right here to where it says video format and you wanna change that. You wanna put it to MJPEG, which is what YouTube allows, or you can leave it for some people because now you got to fix the coloration and all that, right? So basically, you could leave it at any, which works pretty well. It's on you, and it's on 5. It went to 5. I don't know why, but you want to put it at 30 FPS. That's where you want to be. You want to be on 30 FPS. We know the coloration, everything just switched up. We understand that. We're trying to fix the slow motion, the blur, that effect. You don't need that. So you can leave it at any. I've recorded on any plenty of times. But for a lot of people, the correct one is MJPEG. A lot of people record on MJPEG. So let's go with MJPEG. YouTube accepts it. Now, you could put it to match uh, FPS of output on whatever you're recording at. But then your webcam is trying to keep up with your software if you're gaming and you're gaming at 60 FPS and your webcam is not allowing you, you know, you're putting the camera to work a lot. So you're just trying to focus on you. So I will put it at 30 FPS, but I'm going to show you something else with another software that you can incorporate real brief just in case you want to do that. And this helps out a lot with the Logitech C920 and with a lot of other Logitech cameras. But you want to put it on MJPEG, 30 frames per second. I have it at 1080p right now. You don't have to record in 1080p. 720 is fine, but most people, 1080, let's go. Then you want to go back over here in the settings, configure video. Just because you want to fix this stuff and you want to lower the gain, because that's what's making the picture so super bright like that and that's not needed. So these settings, you're gonna have to see and learn how you wanna play with them for the coloration of your skin tone and also the lighting. So that has a lot to do with it. Uh, me, I'll take down the sharpness a little. It's not really needed. And I'll take down some of the coloration here. It's 24. I think that looks pretty cool right there. So now there's no blur. There's none of that. It's perfect. Now we understand I look like a tomato, super shiny. That's the lighting and all that. And I'll have to deal with that after if I was making different video content. With that being said, there's something else that you could do over here. Let's see if it pops up. So there's a program called Logitech Capture. You're going to download Logitech Capture in a 
Google, you Google Logitech Capture, and it's going to download it. And I'm going to show you what happens from here on out. Logitech Capture is a pretty cool uh, thing. Sometimes I do use it. So you're going to tap again on your video device. And instead of picking HD Pro Webcam this time, you're going to tap on that double tap, left click with your mouse, pop, pop. Right or one time, uh, whatever, and then you're gonna go down to Logitech Capture, pop. Right, and it's, you're not gonna see nothing because it's on MJPEG Logitech Capture. Now you got a lot of different things to choose from. You could put it on on any. Oh, I went to the wrong one. I went to OBS Virtual Camera. You want to make sure you click Logitech Capture. <laughs> so, uh. Is on any right now, but most likely you're gonna have NV12. I press NV12 and that's what I use, NV12. But now you got a lot of higher frames per second. I mean, uh, F, uh, you know, yeah, you could record at 60 frames per second instead of the 30 that it was only letting you record in previously because you just had the regular settings you were able to deal with with the regular webcam as is but when you incorporate the logitech capture and together with obs it's more on your pc or your laptop but if your laptop or your pc could withstand it then i suggest that you use it because it has a lot of features that are awesome so now we on that and you're not going to be able to go in these settings like that anymore. You're going to be going into the Logitech uh, settings. And in the Logitech settings, you can play with it over here. And you can change the coloration. So you have a lot to, to work with now. Because you have more that you can incorporate. You can incorporate the Logitech settings together with the OBS settings for your webcam to make it awesome. You have the white balance here and then you got the white balance over there. I bring this down because you don't need this to be like this. The sharpness is going to look crazy. If you got any little mark in your forehead <laughs> on your nose or whatever, it just makes it look crazy. So the way you're going to look and your skin tone is going to depend on the software you're using. Basically, it's not that you're trying to be somebody else. It's just that if you don't have the proper lighting or the proper settings, you're going to look crazy, bro. <laughs> Believe me. And people are going to think that you actually look like that when you don't. So this is a very, very good uh, software. You can even add uh, these uh, things to your to your scene. And I'll show you right now. You see right there, you see the purple line. Hopefully you guys are able to see that. You see the purple line right there. So uh, you can change it to yellow. So you know when people are recording and they have that line around the, their, uh, the frame of the video. So Logitech Capture, the app or the software has that. And all you need to have is a Logitech camera. You can put it in red. It's ill. You know, so it works. So I've used it plenty of times, but normally I don't. I incorporate my own overlay, and especially when I'm using green screen. But as far as for recording, it has this 30 frames over here. It has a lot that you could do. You want to shut off your mic here and your speaker if you're using it at the same time as you're using OBS Studio or whatever uh, software encoder you're using uh hopefully you're using obs is the best so let me know what you think about this video did you learn anything of this video drop a comment drop a like drop a dislike and don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this here let me know bro this is for the people that plan on making content it might be useful for you in the future who knows you might want to make a video next week <laughs> right thanks a lot i'm grateful